I am resident coordinator Miss Nelsa, and what I do here is I work with your kiddos, the community kiddos here. Um, Harold, you've been gone for a while, so I'm gonna definitely have to give you a reading log. I worked in behavior education with special education for six years. I'm also a prior veteran. I'm a combat war veteran. I served in the Gulf War and I've been in the military for nine years and decided now this is the profession that's rewarding because now I'm gonna give back to our community by serving our kids, being there for them. They need a friend, I'm there. They need help, I'm there. And so that's what we're trying to do with the Resource Center here is being more effective. Today we're doing homework help for the kids that are struggling with their homework from Monday through Thursday. And then after they're, that, they're done, we encourage the readings with the Galactic Reader's Law, which daily if they read a little pages of a book, they can get a stamp. And by Friday, they can get a reward for every book that they have read. The Galactic Reader's Club is the heart and soul to me of the center. We started that for our kiddos to encourage them to read. I take great pride in that because it encourages them, it says, hey, it opens a world of possibilities in their minds, and so that's where it starts. We're out there trying to do as much as we can with our kiddos. We have Mr. Manuel, he'll come out twice a month for martial arts and um, doesn't charge us. He comes out there twice a month for the kids to learn self-discipline, balance, coordination. It was just awesome seeing the kids just do some kind of physical activity instead of being home on a Saturday on the computer or on the phone or behind the TV. Uh, they're actually engaged in doing this. All the people in the world that need help, why did you choose kids? Because I was in the projects growing up and I didn't have that. I didn't have somebody that I can go and talk to. I didn't have that when, um, I didn't have that. And to not have that, it's like a void because you have no sense of direction and you feel like you're worthless. That's why I find this job very rewarding because I know even though they may not have that kind of attention in the home front, I'm not saying they do or don't, but they can get it with me. They can get it here at the Resource Center. So, and I like to leave it like that, Mike, because I'm about the kids and where the need is, that's where I need to be. And as a society, we should get more involved with our kiddos. So we gotta help our neighbor that's not able, like maybe they don't even have a GED or some kind of schooling, and they need that help. If we don't open these doors for them, we're gonna lose our kids. And is that what we're really wanting? To lose them? Yes, sir? Go get a paper. <laughs> that was my little, my little shining star there. <laughs> I love it, dude. They know they can come to me for anything. I'm open and, say, and honest and say, hey, I can help you. If I can't help you, I can find somebody that can help you. It, I, in the end, I really want them to know that I'm there for them. That's all it boils down to is say, hey, you're my kid. When you're here with me, you're my kid. I, I, don't, I don't need their recognition. I don't look for recognition. I just look for them improving. When I see them go to that next grade, yay! When I see them getting that a, a awesome um, citizenship, yay! A be on a roll, yay! Because that's homework. Homework is being done here. And so that's the kind of recognition that I look when I see them doing good. 